Howdy y'all, this is your host Ro. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're playing a little Spongebob, Squarepants, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated today. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to see what we can do. We're about to go into a flooding sandcastle and try to make it through here as quickly as we freaking can. So I hope you enjoy and let's get to it. Did not realize... When I first came in here, that this was going to flood. Um. Does this just keep going up? Okay, it stops right there. Oh crap. Oh crap. And it looks like I was supposed to be Patrick. Well, dang. Oh. Time for a little sleepy no. sneak. So, what's the order? I didn't realize it changes. Um, I may be able to make that. I don't know. Shoot. No. You just met the Spongeinator. So this takes me to a whole nother area. Gulagoon Sea Caves. But I want to do that. I guess we do. What's new? Meow. Meow. Don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Meow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. Wow. Oh. It's one of these. Ah, a little shade on a hot day. Um. How do I get up there? Ooh. All right. There clearly has to be a way up there. I 
love opening presents. Still too close. Barely made it over that thing. No! No! Spongebob. The water is too high to do anything. Why is that one there? Um... What can I do here? Oh, there's a button. Boulder. We got twenty five golden spatulas. Don't know where that goes to. that I think he can help me with. Patrick here. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. Not me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. All right, so we've got three, three, Save the children, connect the towers, clean the bumper boats. Oh, again, again. Oh, this one goes boom. Oh, oh, why am I getting shot at? That's way over there. It's kind of hypnotic. Um there is no way you are making that.
Oh, no. Is there a... How many of these do I have to carry? I got, I think I got most of them last time. Hope there's not stuff down there I have to do later. Ooh, I almost didn't see that that did not connect. Wakatiki. There's a golden spatula down there. How would you get that? It was like directly underneath this thing. I did not realize the cups would hurt you. Alright, where was that spatula? It's like straight underneath over here. How would you get that? I want to just look at it. Yeah, it, there's no way unless there's another frozen thing somewhere. Sundrop needs the bubble bowl power to ski ball game. Let's switch to SpongeBob here in just a second. There's another spatula over there. to unlock that somewhere? Because I thought it was here. Oh, 
crush them! <laughs> the robots go boom! So good in another one! Robot did go boom. There's a bus stop over there. There's a lot of spatulas. I just don't know how you'd get that. I wonder if that would work. So this goes down. We're dying. There's no way. There's no way SpongeBob could do that. There's no way Patrick can do that. Oh wait, there's an ice thing over there. It's too far to reach though. Let's exit. Where's this go? So bright, so shiny. That's a slide. I don't want to go down a slide yet. Bus stop. Oh, that's not taking me out of the level. I don't want to do that yet. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. This is how you get one of them. There's just no way. Alright, so I have to wait at the middle one for the timer to go out. Is this all? I thought it was gonna be an ice cream cone. So there's one, two, is there any socks down here? No socks. Oh. I only have like nine seconds. Run, Patrick! Use your little starfish legs. You got this.
What's the fastest way back up? I want to get that one, I just don't know how to do it. Oh my goodness, okay, this is not easy, this is not easy. Oh, avoid those. Uh oh, this one goes boom. I missed it completely. any way to... Nope, nope, that's just gonna be my death. That's gonna be my death. Fuck. Gotta do this again. Too hard to do from that angle. Don't hit the boom booms. Sweet, got it. And now, once again, how the heck do we get that one? Like, I landed on it, I jumped across. This is for sure is an area we'll have to come back to. Clearly, Patrick... Like, that seems like a sandy thing, because she could hover. Get up there. I love opening presents. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. We got twenty seven. Save the children. Clean out the bumper boats. We did clean out the bumper boats. Oh, I gotta go talk to Mr. Krabs again. Tower bungee. It's a bungee! 
All right, let's go save the rest of the kids. That makes so much more sense now. I didn't realize it was a bungee. Far enough away from that. Only SpongeBob bungees. I can't believe I didn't even think about it being a freaking bungee. That makes so much more sense. Oh no! I am so not good at targeting these. <laughs> All right, now to save the children. Well, somebody please think of the children. change back to Patrick. Or actually wait. There's a Patrick thing over there I gotta do in the same castle. I think it was a sock. We're definitely going to have to come back to this later. I have no doubt we've missed so many socks. So there's, what, one, two more balloon kids. They are way out there. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Ooh. 
not realize these were the ones that lower. My hero! You've saved the children! <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward! Nice! So we have 30 spatulas. <laughs> We're missing five socks, so. Missing three socks there. We have a lot of round to come back for. Alright, well. For now, until SpongeBob gets a few more powers, I think we're effectively completed this area. We have to be able to bowl with ourselves. Oh, oh, did not see the water. I know. Bounce and throw the head. Spring the old clothesline move. Oh. I got stuck on your leg. Big opportunity here. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. Oh, no. That messes with my eyes. It's hard to see. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, uh, we. Oh, we. Bounce and bash the head. Oh. Ow! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. Sp 
Bling! The old clothesline move! Oh, it's one jump. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. Spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for five dollars and thirty-two cents to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. No. Want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton! Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. <laughs> I trust you. Hurry up. I trust you. You wouldn't lie to me. So we can't Let get a Sandy's teach you house. How to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a sa wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Bowl -a -rapa! That's cool. Golden underwear. Flash, sponge wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. Fresh like a spring breeze. Uh, I see so much. I... There's a lot going on here. So I can enter the rest home. I love opening presents. It shines. Your treasure chests look... All right. I can't go in the chum bucket yet. We're gonna go visit Sandy here in a second. Um, there's a police station. All right, we're gonna visit Sandy first. Police station. Retire at home. Bob, I 
got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. How's it my fault? You just met the Spongeinator. Just my side. Much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. SpongeBob, you looked better. Stop your yapping and let. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Alright, I guess it's everything in Sandy's house. If Patrick's looking in. Alright, we'll do the police station next. What would I even be able to do with this? I'm rollerific. There's like nowhere to go with this. Yeah, there's literally nowhere to go with the ball. This is Robot Viewer. Step on the middle square in front of the viewer to activate. You can use Viewer to read case files of captured robots. That's cool, Sheriff looking. <laughs> All right, I thought there had been more in here. I'm gonna go back up here to see. So, like, I can see there's something on the chum bucket that's across the fence. There's underwear. Like, I'm legitly, I don't see anything else over here. I see no purpose for the ball. Alright, let's go talk to the old folks home. Mermaid Man should be in here. Don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Good be. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, what up? Okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making... Absolutely fine. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. 
We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Too pretty. Can't take it! No witnesses. This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. Oh no. Enter. Yeah. Top secret. Nah, 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 Batman. I hit that from here. That was stupid. Mermaid man and barnacle boy. You shouldn't sneak up on mermaid man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps. All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up. Young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. It really is how it is. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Oh, what? <laughs> All right, let's get that going. It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge! Don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Oh, did not realize y'all would come back. Why is this so hard? There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Robot named Al. You bubble bowl to defeat him. Oh, 
Hardy is bubble bowl to defeat him when he's on a much higher level of ground than I am. how I was supposed to get over there. Bull Bull can also press buttons. I don't... what? I forget what the car was for. Is there buttons to be pushed here? I see this one. I don't see what that goes to. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. I'm definitely missing something. I'm gonna go on for now. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. All right. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and that Never mind. Oh, there's a... What's a... Patrick. Oh, 
Um, there's multiple things going on here. Like most of our money. What is this? What is this? Hey, good. We have to walk back. No. I think all this is Patrick. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw. No. Throw the throw. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I. All right. We got two of the three. Is that all of them? I don't see any more. more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, all right. what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. I pushed the big shiny button. So what do I do with this? Oh. Not what so I just did. Shiny. Hey, this is mine. Um, how do I get back where I just was? I went the wrong way. Oops. Oops.
Oh, oh, don't blow up on me, don't blow up on me. That turns most of those. Getting closer. No, we don't want that. Are they not turned the right way now? Oh, am I supposed to get them turned inward? I was trying to turn them all outward. the thing didn't explode or take forever to explode. Got it back to where it's just one. Not what I was trying to do. This is pain in the butt. There we go. Ah, well done. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Please. 
Alright, so that takes us down. Is there anything else up here? Peter totter up front. Another one? How the heck am I supposed to get up this? Um. I don't think I was supposed to get over here. Yeah. Are square, oh, put me up top. Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. It shines. <laughs> In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermel Air. The first one is here. Press the buttons. Got it. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here. Got it. Return here. Got Are it. Are you listening to me? Listening. Got it. Right. Security tunnel. Press the master shutdown button to lower. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be able to get over here. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Scary! I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Ow! Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. I love opening presents. How do I get up there? No. Not gonna work. You just met the Spongenator. Um, how am I supposed to defeat that with these things? Bolo-rama!
No tartar sauce for SpongeBob. Made it up here. Let's do. I probably could have made that with a jump and not wasted all my money. I don't know. I'm having a hard time doing the jump as is. Hey, this is kind of sketchy. box, right? <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. That did. Look, boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rope? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. I want to look at the area first. I love opening presents. Just my size. Take that. In order for the ball to reach the end, you'll have to move the pieces of machinery along the track. How do I move this? How do I move it? Oh. Okay.
How do you move this? Oh. How did I do this before? Not technically a successful. Okay, so I, I know how to do this now. This is really a lot of timing. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. You have to be like right on the dot with all of this. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Did I get it? I was falling for it. I wish it didn't take so long. Like, I wish there were like save points of this. Don't know. Oh no, I missed it. 
Fuck. This is definitely not an easy one. This is probably the hardest one we've done yet. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. We're gonna miss this one, I think. Yeah, we are. Crap. Alright, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. No, no. Dude, that's so freaking hard. <laughs> this whole episode is pretty much going to be us trying to get through this stupid trap. No. This is getting to be so damn annoying. Spongebob. There's nothing. 
something like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. No! Oh, there's a thing in it. A uh, purple. Oh, well, I just missed that one. Learn for that machine, we wouldn't have a bunch of stuff respawning. I don't even know how you get to that. I may do that too early. I definitely did that too early. No! No! <sighs> Shut down the security system, complete the rolling ballroom. Well, we messed that one up. Like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. But smells like really, really getting old. Three months later.
No, no. No, no. Can I just go down here? Wow, I would never have knew that sock was there. SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll a promo? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Crab. Mr. Crabs, you're kind of a dick. Not believe how hard and how many attempts that took. Um. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Yeah, we got 40. Containment system. All right. Apparently, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's villain containment system. Is that bad? Does mermaid man smell like sour milk? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes he do. does. Oh no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic flounder? The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Not Khan. Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. <laughs> Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! Mermaid Man? Oh. Alright, so that kind of sucks. Does he not stop? Yeah. 
Oh, I have to bowl, don't I? Yeah, I do. Gotcha. No, no, not again. This is not fair. I got a frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> so, we got everything here. Do I, which way do I need to go? I'm assuming back out the way we came. Well, that non boop then go that way. Yeah! Or maybe it was that. I see this one here, but there's no fruit. The go across. I still have no idea what that is. Ooh. That's where we came. Flying Dutchman over there. So, do you want that squad? Sure. How much is your next one? Five thousand. I don't have to race, do I? So you got 25, 30, 40. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory.
Welcome to the dark depths of rock bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Oh, nice. You do that to yourself. Oh, SpongeBob, I'm actually glad you're here. Believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Remember, Mrs. Puff killed her husband, paid him to Bikini Bottom to start a new life. She's gonna totally take that for herself. What is this? I don't understand. The sleepy time robot. I don't care if let's see if people away. Sneak or daily press lecture. for a little sleepy sneak. It shines! There's six pieces of artwork. These platforms will collapse unless SpongeBob sneaks across them very carefully. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. That'll probably be how you get back over here. No witnesses. No! How am I supposed to get that? It didn't go all the way over. Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. <laughs> all right. There's no way you can make that from here. And checkpoint. You just met the Spongeinator. Just my side. All right. Oh, it doesn't make it. Roll, roll, roll the sponge.
funny is we ran around that so fast I lost track of where I actually am. They're way up there. Oh, there's the thing up there, too. Oh, well. Dribble will make it back over there. So there's a sock over there. I do this sneaking. There's a lot of stuff down there I've missed. Is this where we first came in? Yes, it is. Alright. Don't want to go that way just yet. I want to actually look around. There's a spatula up there. There's like underwear up there. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. There's a sock and underwear both down there. And a weird graphic glitch. There. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm going the right way or the wrong way.
I don't know if that's actually something to stand on. Oh, this takes you up, okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm going up this the wrong way. That sucks. Make it back. Oh, we we landed on it. So what? Uh, we have got two socks and one piece of art. Sponge friend, Bob head. Oh, wait, wait, can I sneak up here? No, I cannot. Will not make it up there. I don't know what this is. That sucked. I don't even know how to get back up to the platform.
Oh, well, crap. Don't know what you just did. They're on. How do you get that? Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Are you still turned on? You are. Alright, so that still brings us here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is so hard. That takes me over there. I need to go over here. Alright. There's one moving over there. There's one over here. One moving over here. Going back and forth. I don't want to go to the museum just yet. This is going around. Shoot. You gotta be like just perfect for that. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I'm guessing right here. Alright, is there anything else for Sandy to do? There's one down there.
I mean, I could go right there and go cross right down. Texas barbecue sauce. That's not even right. That almost killed me. That sucked. So bad. That was like the most ridiculous hey, one yet. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Totally not what I was trying to do. Whoa. No witnesses.
Yeah. That ain't gonna work. Come on. Don't mess with Texas. You get Sandy the Squirrel's chops. Oh, well, hey. I'm not Spongebob, which I think I'm supposed to be in this one. That goes that way. There is stuff over here. I think I have to work my way around a few times. I 100% think you're supposed to do this as Spongebob, but so much easier as Sandy Cheeks. Oh. Oh. do anything for you. Oh, crap. I was stretching. Try that again. I love a 
opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Um. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Hey, Gary. You're on an awful long walk, aren't you? Wow. The trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary. I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. Yeah. Sounds dark. Dangerous. Return museum's art across the trench of eternal darkness. Or jump to our death. There's clearly some up there, I just don't know the best way. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Can't get to it from this side, I don't think. All right, looking around, looking around. Maybe I should be saying. I was supposed to do it that way. Alright. There's one up there. How would you get up there? I really don't see a... I don't know how that worked. That's for messing with Texas. You best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense. I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the trench of advanced darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, varmint. All right, but we do know we have to go down there. There's a sock right there. Like a SpongeBob. Am I able to get back up as Sandy? I just realize I don't think I can. Crap. Oh, 
That was dangerous. Ah, that's all it does is open up the door. I'm rollerific. It serves like no purpose. So there's an exit over there. I think we're good over there. I do believe we need to be some sandy cheeks right now. We do have to be SpongeBob for that. Can I? came from that way. Wait. Where'd that come from? I don't remember that one there. So there's a sock. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? No. That's the one I just did. This is all I just fell off of.
Ooh, don't don't do that yet. This is how we do it in Oklahoma, not in Texas. That's cool. That's gonna suck to jump to. Alright, where was that? Grease can't handle. So we still got across the trench of darkness. Not discovered. Got all the socks and art though. Oh, oh that was gonna be close. Now that's a dangerous one. attack and uh, we're good. Spawn you guys. No witnesses. No witnesses. Not easy. I love opening presents. of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen. And here's your reward. Ah! Oh, I'm curious what this is. Howdy y'all, this is your host, Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. 
we had a little uh, glitch with our recording software, so it did not catch some of the stuff we did. We have entered Sand Mountain, but we finished everything in the... Where were we? It wasn't the more layer. It was rock bottom. The last one was a race going down this thing with Mr. Krabs. But we are in Sand Mountain. We have collected uh, two of these. One of these was doing a race beating Larry's time. And then uh, the other one was just making it to the bottom. So, sorry it glitched out. I don't know why that happened. And the software must have crashed. But now we are going to do... Uh, ow. This over here. So, this is Sand Mountain. And it's going to cost us a lot of shiny objects to do all of these. We really need to find a bus stop. You just met the Spongenator. I think we're supposed to be sandy for some of this. Uh, that's all frozen. Flounder Hill. Sandy? Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, by the way. Howdy, bubble buddy. Hey, you bears. Howdy, bubble. Okay. There's eight Sandmen? Okay, so the salmon are in here. really dangerous. Maybe I was supposed to be Spongebob, I don't know. That sucked. Alright. 
And I don't know if there's any more over here, but we're gonna do another quick look for Sandman. Glad there's underwear there. was one we missed here. So we're looking for two more. I missed it. I bet there is one in there. trying to cheat the system so bad. There's one right there. There is absolutely no way to effectively do this in one go. You're going to have to do this tons and tons of times. Because I've already missed a bunch of them. That's crazy to me. Why would they respawn? That means you'd have to do this like eight to nine times. Potentially, because you have to go down every path to find them. Because there's, there's one right there. One down each side of this, I think. Thank you. 
I guess that's why you get so much money back, because you're going to end up doing this so many times. So this is where we spawned last time. We were up to seven of eight before we died. Let's do this again. How would you get up there? Oh, there better not be one up there. Yeah, it's five of eight. He's taken out. I, what I'm at, six of eight. I legitimately don't know where any more of those are. I want to just leave for now. That sucks. Off to this one. Guppy Mound. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheek. For now, we're gonna do Sandy. We'll probably have to come back and do SpongeBob. I'm sure there's a time trial with this too. Oh, little Patrick. 
Can Sandy not kill that thing? I don't know, Sandy can. We didn't need so many. This up. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. 70 seconds? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude. I don't know if you can do it in 70 seconds. Oh, this is gonna be close. Well, I guess I was wrong. I did it. Dude, I just like finish line right to it. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. <laughs> so what, we got the bubble boys time. But we did have to go back as SpongeBob. Get, do I have like perfectly crap? Try this again. Hello, my most favorite <laughs> friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy, can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm. I suppose you could, but Yeah. Was it medium? Anything else over here? No. Oh. 
Hi, Garrett. No witnesses. So what? We got six more socks. Bubble boy. And all these Sandman over again. That's where one of them was. That's going to hurt me in the long run. I'm probably going to have to do this a few different times. Sandy was better with this because she could fly after a jump. I know we're not going to get it this time around. But we honestly weren't that far off. I'm probably going to do it two more times before I start the time trial again just to try to get this Sandman. Dude, I wanna know how you get up there, because there's clearly something up there. This for sure is the longer path. Don't go this way. Longer and safer path, or the other one's more dangerous. Did that reset it? Fucking reset it. You just met the Spongeinator.
I'm really just gonna have to not worry about the Sandman. Destroy as many of these things in the path. Just such a tight time limit. And I can find seven, but I'm missing an eighth one. Like, I don't know where that one is. Speed, SpongeBob, speed. We are not here to get anything else but the gold. Avoid all of them. Avoid them. I keep hitting crap and I'm trying to avoid it. I keep hitting crap as I'm trying to avoid it. Number one in the Bikini Bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. I don't know if we got this one. It's going to be close. Cut uh, every corner. Your tongue would feel so gross after this. Come on, SpongeBob. reason I cleared these out. Oh, I don't think you have it. Oh my goodness, we actually got it. That's insane. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time! Here's a spatula! Alright, well... That's all of them but this one. We don't know where five socks are. And we're missing one Sandman that... I know there are seven on this course. But I think we're going to call it an episode there. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And we'll see what we can get into in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. God bless.